If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Post the epistle of John, I believe. Chapter 1. Verses 8 and 9. You know your Bible. Some. Red McRaith, Banisher. We can talk scripture if you like. John Rumble. Oh, not really in the mood to talk, sir. Is anything the matter? Perhaps I may be of service. I don't need anything from the likes of you. A ghost screams bloody murder, yet he needs no help. Forgive me if I'm being nosy, but have you recently suffered a bereavement? I, I don't know what you've heard, but you keep your oar out of my boat. What would I have heard exactly? Don't mock me. I know what they say about me. I know what you all say. My dear, beloved wife is gone. Abigail is gone. That's all you need to know. It was an accident, a terrible accident. I'll speak of it no more. For someone who just lost his wife, he's awfully nonchalant. An accident? How did she die? She fell. She went to the cliff top and slipped and did not survive the fall. Now, leave me be. He's shutting down. We need a lever to prise him open. Ghostly voices stay in this place. All emotions are trapped here. Toki me indrasta, skal nam phalas. Will you stop walking away from me each time we are to converse? This is not conversation, Abigail. We do not converse. Not no more. You berate me, you belittle me, Abigail. I, I walk away. You don't care. You don't care about me. You don't care about our life together. I gave it all up to follow you to this godforsaken place and you don't care if we belong. We are trapped here! I could die and you not blink That's an eye. That's right! I don't care! I don't care about none of it! Why don't you just troop off and kill yourself? And give me some goddamn peace! <laughs> not a very nice man, turns out. The resentment between these two ran deep. The harsh price to pay for forgetting who you are. Abigail's clothes, already packed. Everyone grieves differently. I know.
You were very much in love once. Well, that changed. Cook. The place is awfully tidy. Since when do you care? Says the untidiest woman ever to walk this earth. Do not deprive one another. Puritan prayer and mandatory marital sex. Quite the life. Spectral stains about the bed. Our ghost must manifest at night. His wife, Abigail, had turned her back on him in the bedroom, and not in a good way. That's not the Puritan way. John's dirty dreams began before Abigail's death. Makes sense, if he was going without.
It's Danes. They can lead us. Traces seem to linger. Let me. We should talk to John about his lovely marriage. This will be the cliff John mentioned. Watch your step. What do we have here? A safe haven. Shelter from the turmoil. Traces of a ghost's memory here is it? Looks like she fell from here. We should go down, inspect the place. My heart sinks when I look at him, and I can't help but wonder. Do I still love him? I'm burdened and ashamed and guilty because I don't love him. And yet I do. I don't care that we are childless. I don't care that we are poor. It was always the two of us. Was our promise to each other. Abigail wasn't alone. Who was with her? I wonder what they were saying. Perhaps we'll find answers at the bottom of the cliff. Pattern needs to line up.
not quite the right alignment. This must be where Abigail fell. Oh, it's more of them. Offers only disdain is owed no loyalty. Remember what he promised when you came to New Eden. He is a failure of a man. He puts you down to raise himself up. Don't be his weakling, Abby. side of the conversation. Those mirrors feel like ghost ties, but I don't think they are. There's an inscription. Ethel Bly. There may be answers at Bly Manor. I wonder who Abigail was talking to. She sounded devious. Who benefits from belittling a servant? Lover? Jealous friend? Something worse?
What do you want? Does this mirror mean anything to you? <laughs> Never thought I'd see that again. That was Abigail's. Where did you find it? At the cliff, where she died. I see. Any idea where she got it? it? Looks old. Heirloom, maybe. She found it in the woods. Kept it with her. I remember it because... We fought about it that night. We were low on money and I wished to sell it. She would not have it. Her vanity got the better of her. Is he lying? I can't tell. The inscription on the mirror suggests it once belonged to your old employers. I don't know anything more. Abigail said she found the mirror in the woods. I had no cause to doubt her. I swear it. It's one thing to argue with your wife. It's another to push her over the edge. Abigail was in distress. Yet all you could offer in loving kindness was to tell her to kill herself. Abigail had an accident. A terrible accident. I loved my wife. I loved her. The man doth protest too much, he thinks. You argued with Abigail. Threats were made. Fair to say your marriage was troubled, yes? Not your business. That's fair to say. Step carefully. Keep him talking. You met Abigail in Selby, I believe. I... How do you... How could you know that? You've been prying. How dare you? Your house is haunted. Your wife. We want to help. My wife is gone, and you know nothing of my troubles. You troubled by your dreams. Perhaps I can help. Oh, I doubt that. Abigail might have helped, but it's too late for that now, eh? I don't sleep good. But my head is clear. People are tense, but we cope. We always do. Do you, really? Tell me more about Abigail. God gave her more wits than most. But she wasn't shy about it. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes, I tell her. She had too much passion. She dwelt in earthly desires. And uh, that's a problem how? When she stopped attending worship, I knew she was lost. Thank you for your time, John. Lord bless and keep you. I find John's opinion of Abigail condescending. All he does is blame her, never questions his own behavior. He's a man who lost control and can't admit it. Of course he blames her. He's an ass.
aim at that land. Stop it, bastard! The lantern, shoot it! Shoot the light! Feet on the ground. On your toes, Scotsman. Get rid of all other specs. I'm on this one. Good. <laughs> 
What do you want? What's the word round here? Word about what? Thank you for your time, John. Lord bless and keep you. An old key. Convenient. With luck, it'll fit a door at Bly Manor. <clears throat> you should not be here. He's going to get away with it. You're here. You speak. I speak and I follow. I needed to be sure you take my side. 
We're banishers. We don't take sides. No. Of course you don't. What's with the hide-and-go-seek? Why manifest now? I'm stronger now. Stronger? Oh. What's your reckoning, Banisher? I reckon you infected John's dreams. You plague him with horrible visions. <laughs> John's sinful thoughts are his own. He did not need me to die to have them. Don't indulge it, Red. I died at the bottom of that cliff, you know. I was alone. For hours. In agony. No one missed me. No one came. John did not come. I thought John was the one who pushed you. Didn't he? Even before my death, he packed my bags. He wanted me out. I did not know how badly his hatred burned. But when he saw me dead, I saw it in his face. Behind the shock, he was relieved. What happened to you, Abigail? What do you think happened? We're asking the questions here. Are you? So, what happened to you, Abigail? A man happened to me. A bitter, pitiful world happened to me. I had a life in Yorkshire. Work I loved. I never wanted to come here. That doesn't entirely answer the question. You're a capable woman. Were. As were you. So how did you allow a man to bind you to this realm? You first. <laughs> I am not bound here by the failings of some bad-hearted man. What happened to you, Abigail? What do you think happened? We're asking the questions here. Are you? So, what happened to you, Abigail? A man happened to me. A bitter, pitiful world happened to me. I had a life in Yorkshire. Work I loved. I never wanted to come here. That doesn't entirely answer the question. How was it for you? To die, I mean. I'm not discussing this with you. Betrayed. Again. Failed. Again. Making excuses for the one you love. Again. What? No. And how did it feel to be deceived by your best friend? By your first love? Enough. We found pieces of a mirror that used to belong to you. Give them to John. By rights, the mirror is his. You hate John, but you want him to have your things. Isn't that just a little contradictory? And you know a thing or two about contradiction, don't you? Who found your body? Who told John about your... Fall. I don't recall, but does it matter? One moment I was alive and lost in thought, the next I was dead and bound to John. And to him, my death felt. Good. The deepest comfort. Solace most profound. I felt those feelings. But those feelings were not mine. We aren't going anywhere. We'll keep digging. Yes. Do that. That was odd. She was odd. A dead woman with a shite-bag husband. Nothing odd about it. You 
You never miss a chance to drag the husbands down, do you? Excuse me. Let's just move on. Let's. I think I used to count my wolf kills on one hand. Brought more friends. Get rid of the other Spectre first. This one's protected. Bly Estate. This must be where the Rumbles used to work. Another haunted house. Jolly good. Aye. Once you've revealed the roots, I'll destroy them. And tell you, what did Abigail mean when she talked about you being betrayed by the first person you loved? Nothing. It didn't feel like nothing. I don't want to talk about it, Rory. Surprise, bloody surprise. Lantern rifle now. The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart.
Can you find a way around the locked door? Well, this door needs another key. Once you've revealed the roots, I'll destroy them. Like you need it. I'm ready to shoot the infested roots after you bruise the heart. That is why they pay me good money.
This is locked from the inside. Voices from the dead ripple here. Now this door needs another key. Maybe this key will open the way. The imprint in the velvet is shaped like our mirror. I sense an echo somewhere nearby. Imaradas en tus. Need you no more. What are you doing? <laughs> Foolish girl. Please, no. Please don't hurt him. Whatever's in this mirror is neither ghost nor spectre. <laughs> Where is Abigail? Abigail has left us, my dears. By what name should we know you? Always that same question, and you know better than to ask it, Antea Duarte. I don't need a name to send the likes of you back from whence you came. I've done it before. How does she know your name? It's not Abigail. It's a... well, some would call it a demon. A bloody pest is what it is. 
you call us demons, but from where we watch in the great below, we are angels. You poor, transparent, knowable you are upside down. <laughs> What have you done with Abigail? She's here, in a way. I am the pool, deep and dark. She is the ripple that spreads and dies away, returning to the whole, a thing no longer. You're possessing her? Huh? We are friends. Such good friends. No, you're a lie. Vapor in the darkness. Really? When you sit beneath a tree alone with no one to talk to, no one to play with, how easy it is to lose yourself. You know nothing about me. Ignore it, Antea. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Poor transparent, knowable you. You target couples. You nest inside their hearts and plant the seed of resentment there and grow it until it flowers and destroys them. We've felt you in our hearts too. You came to me. You all come to me. When the weight of your unspoken truth is heavy, when you cannot speak your heart. Tell me, little girl, how does it feel to feel the love of your life? Do not answer, Antea. You said it yourself, we shouldn't engage with it. I know what I said, and I know what I'm doing. Get on with it then. You're the banisher now, you get on with it. Right. Abigail tried to smash the mirror. She tried to break your hold on her. What happened to her? Are you a happy man, Red Ruri McGraith? Answer the question. Do you feel hollow? What would you do to once again feel her touch? To feel her finger trace lines upon your cheek? What do you want here? Do you feel guilty for leaving your family behind? Was it worth their sacrifice? Are you ashamed? Do you want to hear it from Aoife's mouth? Your sister can't be far. I... no. Abigail wanted to protect John. To the end, she wanted you gone. Abigail made her choice, but she lacked the strength to live with it. Not ghost, not spectre. What are you? I am... The bringer from beyond the gates. Yes, yes, we know all about the void. No, you do not. But you will. You will know the void inside out, and you'll know nothing else. That's enough. Let's get this over with. Let's. Oh, get back here. I hate when they do that. It's close. I feel it. Stay on your guard. Is that really you? 
I thought you were gone. I thought I... You're here. You're really here. I'm so sorry. Hush, my dove. Worry no more. I'm here. We need to end this. Best over here. That's enough, Abigail. Step away from him. What will you do? Banish me? Banish poor, sweet, innocent Abigail? Send us both into the darkness? You know well enough, Antea, my child. There is no ascent for Abigail now. There's no escape from the likes of me. Unless I grant it. I offer you a trade. A bargain. Abigail's ghost for John. Give John his due, and Abigail is free. Abigail, if there is still a part of you in there, I'm sorry. There is sacrifice in love, but love should not be all sacrifice. You're in an awful situation. We'll put an end to it. Please. No. Don't send me down. Hell awaits me there. A terrible banquet in which I am the meal. That's enough. We are not banishing Abigail today, but the demon that has taken her. It's a gamble. John! John! Please. Help me. I'd help Abigail in a heartbeat, but you are not really her. Red, put an end to this circus. Go back to the void, wherever you are, and to your masters, whatever they may be. I'll take my prize to the great below, and there I shall face. You are invited to the banquet, all of you. But Especially you and the Eduarte. She knows about you. She knows all about you. And she's waiting. <laughs>
Your grip on this world is broken. It's over. John, the entity haunts you no longer. I had such terrible dreams. Was it the devil? Sure, John. It was the devil. God preserve us all. Thank you, Banisher. I need to... I need to pack up and go. Please, Banisher, leave me be. I maim the corrupted heart. You aim at its roots. Use the practice. A hundred years from now, that mirror will still be cursed. Unless we destroy it. Where should we start? Maybe a witch could help.
The heart's yours. The roots are mine. No roots. Just how I like it. Ready to walk through it if you are. 